Hey guys, welcome back to Cossack Customs. Uh, I've never done this before, but I have two videos, like back to back, that I did because I picked up another project while I was in the middle of this project on the go-kart. The video literally I just uploaded. Um, I'm going to get the brakes done here soon on the go-kart, but I picked up another thing and I think you're going to like it. It's my first one, so we're going to get through this one literally step by step together. I got a mini bike and I'm going to put a Predator 224 in it. This is it. Look at that thing. Looks like a mini Harley Davidson. Now when I got it, it had an engine, it had a wiring harness, it had the rear wheel, it had all this stuff. Front headlight, uh, had actually gauges up top of the actual bike, like a speedometer and all this other stuff. And then the tail light, it had a tail light on the back of it. Problem was it was all dry rotted and it was sitting out for three plus years. So, what I did is I bought a new back tire for it. I got a new tail light for it. I got a new headlight for it. I got a bunch of new stuff for it, right? Because the headlight that came with it looks like one of those old Harley Davidson ones. Like that, right? Uh, the only difference is they took the lens cap off because it was all, it was really bad. It was like sun faded. So I got rid of that, ordered a new one. Uh, anyway, I welded on these foot pegs because the foot pegs that came with them were garbage. Um, the kickstand still works good though. But as you can see, it had a plate here, and it like stood probably, I don't know, probably about four or five inches off the ground, a couple of part over here to bolt the old motor into. There's a little 50cc two-stroke motor that was in here, but it actually had a charging coil in it, so it could power up the battery and power up the lights and all that stuff. Well, I'm just going to put the uh, battery in the battery tray, which is actually under here. You can kind of see it, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. That's kind of a blind shot right now. Anyway, there's a battery tray up there, and then there's a gas tank, because it looks like the gas tank, but it's just a fiberglass, and the gas tank is actually here. A little plastic one, think of it as like a go-ped gas tank. That's kind of what it is. And then the gas cap, it goes directly into the plastic, as you could see, gas tank in there. Um, haven't decided if I'm gonna stick with the plastic or just leave the Predator one on there. So I went to Harbor Freight, the man's store, and picked up a Predator 224. I uh, wanted to get the new one just to test it out because I got the 212 over there in the go-kart. So I might as well get this one a shot and see what happens. Um, haven't even unloaded it out of the box yet. That's my next project. And do size fitment because I'm probably going to get rid of the exhaust, possibly keep the gas tank, and just put a new air filter on it. And it should fit in that huge gap underneath there. Now I had to order a mounting plate, which is the plate that's like the rectangle with four slots in it. If you guys have seen those, those are mounting plates for the Predator motor. I got ordered one of those so I can weld that in there and then mount this thing up. I got a new chain coming that's going to be mounted onto the clutch, which I also ordered, and a new throttle and throttle cable. Now, I ripped the grips off. This is just, I just stuck that on there for the kids so they can get a feel. Uh, this actually is a functional front disc brake. And I'm a little impressed on how well it works. It's not bad. It's just the old, like a bicycle, nothing fancy, but it works. So I'm gonna use it. The rear brake wasn't even hooked up, so I ripped it off. Uh, the tire, God, my garage is a mess. The tire is this. This came off of it, okay? It's all dry rotted and garbage. And there's the sprocket. It's actually just mounted to the wheel itself. And there's the drum brake that wasn't working. So I took that off and then I bought a new tire. Boom, drag radial. Just kidding, we're not dragging anything. Just, it's a new tire. It's got the same size rim. So I'm just gonna have that mounted onto that tire and it'd be flat in the back. This is just for the street, obviously. Um, so this is kind of busted back here. Might have to bondo that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. Seat needs to be cleaned up. Tank needs to be painted. But overall, frame-wise, legit. Like, absolutely legit. And then I put these, like, the forward controls on a Harley-Davidson. Um, just welded those on there real quick. So my daughter tested it out because she's my test dummy for all my projects, and it works really well. It's, like, perfect fitment. So I'm going to get this Predator motor just to sit it inside to see what it looks like, 
and see if I can mount this up with the plate when it comes in. I just want to see what the Predator, you know, how well it fits and if I need to readjust anything on the top and get rid of the tank or the air filter or uh, even the exhaust. And we'll see. All right, let me go do that right now. Watch this. It's going to go whoop. Boom. But here's the problem. So I took the gas tank off. I took the exhaust off. I took the air filter off because it would not fit without them or with them. So I took it all off and now I have no fuel into it, no air, I guess no, I don't know, air filter, right? I guess that, that would be the only thing. So I'd have to buy like a stage one kit or, or something along those lines to put on here, at least an air filter, kind of like what I did with this one, as long as it just sticks out and it should be okay. Then uh, I had to take the exhaust off, obviously, because exhaust was going up way up too high. And I'm just going to get the same thing after the go-kart, just kind of go that way. Um, now, my other thing i got to figure out, see how it's tilted just slightly? I'm going to have to mount the plate up a little bit, because if I put the engine completely centered into the frame of the bike, the this actual drive shaft here, will be like sticking way out and the clutch will be over here, which is outside the realm of the sprocket for the tire for the chain. So I need to move it in more, which is kind of what I did here. As you can kind of see, it's not all the way because if I push it like that, which it sits flush and you can mount it here underneath. But I mean, the clutch would be in I mean, it, it, there's the spacer and then the clutch and then it's sticking out way too far. I'd have to move the engine back that way more. So I'm going to have to mount the plate up to get the engine to work. Now i got to figure out what the hell I'm going to do about the damn gas tank because I might just... So this is a fuel line, guys, right? Right here. So I might just stick a fuel filter on top of this just to plug it in real quick and then run the fuel line up and into the tank which is this, okay? Don't ask me why they duct tape it, I don't know. It's, it's just weird. Anyway, it mounts like this, except the screws don't fall off. Let's take care of that, there we go. All right, so it mounts like this, right? Sideways. And then like I showed you before, inside the gas tank or the simulated gas tank, that's where it sits, right? So it, the gas goes in, sits there, and then I could put the tube, got the fuel line into the side of it and it can come out that hole right there and then run down into the fuel line there. That might work. And if it's, it, 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 it's not gonna go very far because I mean, that's a small ass tank compared to, you know, that big honker over there. So I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I think, Damn it. I just figured there would be more room, but I probably misjudged the shit out of that one. Because uh, it was only made for a 50cc, so I'm pushing the limits in on this thing a little bit. Which, you know, Cossack Customs wants to go faster. Well, now it's backfiring. Um, so, I'll figure it out. I think I'm going to do... I don't think I'm going to do a governor removal on this, because the kids are going to be riding it way more than the go-kart. Uh, to go fast on the street, this... That's fine. It's got a roll cage and a seat belt. This has nothing. So this can have the governor on it. I'm going to leave it. Uh, and then I'm going to put some oil in it after I get the clutch. Clutch comes in a couple days. And I'll, when the clutch comes in, I'll start the video again. I'll keep it up. So we'll have the whole video from start to finish on this one right here. So if you're watching this and it's like 20 to 45 minutes long, at least you know why because it's completed. Uh, but I think I'm going to put the tank back on right here. Leave that there run the fuel line from this hole into it all the way out into the fuel line for that that way it has fuel and then it should be okay to run after i put oil in it problem is i'm gonna have to buy an air filter adapter for this with an air filter because the ones for the quads are not meant for this because of the actual mounts the studs that are sticking out So, anyway, guys, as soon as, uh, as soon as I get an update on this, I'm going to start the video. But for you, it's going to be instantaneous. For me, it's going to be a couple days. Quick side note. 
Okay, obviously I'm gonna have to get the filter, right? Check out what I did though. The fuel line to the carburetor is right here, like I was saying before, okay? I put a little mini fuel filter and then ran the fuel line up all the way into the tank around, hold on, let me just do this so it makes it easier to see. Let's remove the fiberglass. It's gonna get painted anyway. Wow, one-handed. Right here, take some tape, seal it up, run the fuel line up, goes into the tank, all the way to the bottom in there if it focuses there we go so it's gravity at the very end so it'll suck the last bit of the fuel and the vacuum should be able to pull it out of there no problem if it doesn't and it's like gravity fed well then i'm gonna have to figure that shit out eventually but right now as it sits i can make it longer if i have to move the engine at all which it should be okay right there i'll just the fuel will go in there, and then once I get the uh, clutch, put that in there. Got the chain coming too, with the grip for the throttle cable, put that in there. And then at least I can get the damn engine started until I get all the electronics put onto it, wired up to a battery. And then uh, I'm probably going to put on a kill switch here like a motorcycle kill switch for the engine and then this i don't know see i'm going to paint over this because this is i don't know what the hell they were doing uh it was a kill switch here i'm going to put one of those uh kind of the one that I did for the kill switch for the go-kart in here and that'll be for the lights so the lights will be wired directly to a battery with no charging system just a battery and then uh i'll just put a kill switch in there for that that way the lights can turn on and off with that instead not like the go-kart where they just plug it into the battery because it's easy accessible this one's underneath the gas tank so i'll just do it that way so all right let me get working on this thing and in the next clip we're gonna see what the progress is all right guys don't be mad but i skipped ahead a little bit because i did a lot of stuff to it from the last clip to the this clip that you're watching right now okay so as of right now other than turn signals which i am going to put on this but they're not going to be functional. They're just going to be illuminated the whole time, like just orange. It works. I wrote it. Wow. I'm kind of impressed with how cool this frame is. Let me show you what I did. And there's a lot of improv improvisation, I guess you could say, in the moment. A lot of cuss words, a lot of what the heck, or a lot of where the hell is my little... Oh, there it is. A lot of those. So I'm going to walk you through this. I'm going to show you exactly what I have, what I did. And I think you guys are going to like this thing because it hauls ass. Okay, let's start with the engine first. I put the original air box controlling unit on it, but there's no filter. I'm just going to put a screen on it, like over the top, so that way it has... Um, you know, some type of filter. Otherwise, it's just a direct drop right into the carburetor. I mean, it's sucking air from the above, which is different, but that's fine. Um, oh, I'm going to take that sticker off. That's stupid. Um, I left the pole on the right side rather than the back side. Just, I don't know. It doesn't really matter because you can reach it on both sides. Okay. Biggest thing, took the governor off uh, or bypassed the governor again. Okay. Watch that video on YouTube if you need to learn how to bypass. It's got like a million views and it's only like nine minutes long so i did that again um i'll talk about those wires in a minute uh the exhaust i took it off the go-kart because i made an, an exhaust for the go-kart i welded some stuff together up and over and out and this little tiny thing in there slipped in it's a baffle off of a pit bike so it actually is not as loud but it sounds pretty pretty beefy i painted it but it got so hot that it disappeared so let me talk about the other side of the engine real quick. So I took the exhaust off the go-kart and just put it on here, right here, and then ran it underneath this heat shield, and it literally just ends just on the other side. And you can't really see it, but it just ends. It stops. But this gets pretty hot, but this gets way hotter. So your legs actually don't touch it, but it's still, I'm probably going to get a sticker that says hot, don't touch. Um... I put the clutch on it. I had to put it on backwards, otherwise it wouldn't work. And then I'm gonna show you how I mounted this to the actual frame because that probably took me about an hour and a half 
just itself. I got one of those mounting plates, as you can see. You can buy them off Amazon, eBay for like 20 bucks. All right, it is steel. So I mounted it to the front here, and then I had to mount it because the engine is too wide, and this case here hits this. I rested it on there, welded the plate to the plate that's in here. That's an actual plate that's on the bike already. Welded it to that and then stuck, I don't know, two, three pieces of flat iron underneath to kind of get it to sit up a little bit. As you can kind of see, there's another piece of rusted metal just sitting there, right? It works. And then I bolted them down, all four of them. And uh, seems to work pretty good. The engine is pretty straight. Straight as it's going to get. And it works with the chain because it actually is like perfectly front to back on that part. So the engine's mounted. Got the chain on. Put the uh, clutch on. You don't need a torque converter for these things. Hey, the clutch is fine. The go-kart, yeah, torque converter is needed, but this one should be fine. Ran the chain back. Made my own little chain tensioner with a little piece of round something just for now until I get one of the rollers. Put it on the sprocket, reversed the wheel, flipped it over because the sprocket was on the other side. So I just flipped it over, grabbed one of those tractor tire drag radial tires, like I told you guys before, put it on. Boom, it works. Adjusted the shock so that my, my fat ass can sit on here without botting me out. Um, everything else is still the same. Spark plug is still the same. I didn't change that. didn't change any jets or anything like that, but it runs smooth. But here's the thing. It sounds like a Harley. It's, it's hilarious because this looks like a little mini Harley Davidson bike and it sounds like one. So it's pretty awesome. Um, I put the extended forks on just because the engine is so fucking wide compared to the frame of the body. I welded this to here and then have a little peg and then out so that way your foot can rest here so it doesn't touch the inside and then same on the other side too. Very, very thin metal. Had to be careful welding that. Uh, this is the original headlight, but I ordered a one that looks just like it, and it's an LED. So I put that on the front, and then I got rid of the little fender on the back just to make it more like a bobber. I'm probably just going to cut that off uh, and just put a tail light back here. Now, these are not functional brake lights. It's just illuminated the whole time like I was stating before. So what I did is there's a battery under here, that battery tray I showed you. I wired a kill switch, which is that right there, kind of like the one from the go-kart, wired a kill switch into it with all of these lights linked together. And there's two wires, one for the outside LEDs in it, and then one for a bulb, and then over here, uh, the brake light. So I wired, that's where all these wires are. I wired all of them together, hit the switch, and it lights up, boom. And then you look, you got a little halo of LED and LED light. And you go to the back side, and you got the tail light. It looks pretty cool. I love it. It's a little bobberish, right? So, turn that off. That's just that's for the lights only. It has nothing to do with the motor. The original kill switch for the motor is right there. I didn't touch that. I, I thought about just rewiring it and running it up to here, like a motorcycle, but to get it running, it's not required. It still works. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the second biggest pain in the ass with this damn thing, and that was the gas tank. Let me give you a start so I can show you that it actually does sound like a Harley. So let's turn the lights on for good measure, because we can. Then original kill switch on. Make sure it's set to run or start. Just kind of depends on how long it's been sitting. And then give it a cranky. Run.
Yeah. This was a bitch. Okay. This gas tank is off my old pit bike. She said there's gas in it, right? Now I chose this one because apparently when I put the other gas tank in and put a tube in there, it didn't vacuum it out. So I don't think there was a vacuum on this carburetor, which kind of sucks. So it wasn't sucking gas from the gas tank. It has to be gravity fed. So when I pulled the gas tank off, that kind of sucked. So what I did is I ran a fuel line, just like the other one, right into the carb on that side, and then right on up to the little gravity fed line here, and then stuck a zip tie here, and then a zip tie underneath just to hold it kind of in place underneath the bike, and then took my shop vac tube, cleaned it out, ran it from the top of this. So if you guys notice, there's no cap. It's a tube that runs all the way up, it sticks out and then you take the cap off and look right into the gas tank kind of clever kind of weird but you know what i don't really care what the tank looks like on top it works you get a little funnel you pour gas in goes right into the tank gravity fed right into the carburetor bing bong boom done problem solved just like that okay doesn't even come off uh front brake i do adjust it because it wasn't even working now it works great goes right back locks up the front tire does not have rear brakes on it um, so it doesn't really matter if front brakes are fine for a rotor cycle anyway. Just got to tell the kids, don't slam on the front brake or you'll endo and it won't be good. So I adjusted the shock, like I said, all the way up so it can fit my fat ass and the kids too. Uh, what I'll probably do next is if you see the back tire, see how it's pushed all the way forward there, all the way forward. So I'm probably just going to loosen those and yank it back, tightening the chain to enough where it's just a little bit of tension. It's like an inch, not even an inch or something like that, depending on what you like, and then yanking it back, make sure the tension's good, and then call it a day. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna cut that off. I need to, that'll look way, way better. And then I'm probably gonna order a Harley Davidson sticker, just to be that guy, and put it on the front. So, yeah guys, that's it. This thing rips down the road. I took it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's probably as fast, if not a little faster, than that or that. And I'm not even kidding. Because it's a little bit faster than the go-kart because it's a 212 with a governor removed. This is the 224 with the governor removed. So, yeah, kids will have to be in full gear for this one. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, not concerns, don't care, but comments, anything else, Hit me up. You know I'm good for it, for actually answering your questions. Uh, fork seals seem to be fine on this one, too. Front tire is okay. Back tire was shot, so that's why I got the new one on the back. And, uh, yeah, so just give me some comments. Um, if you have any extra things to help me out, I'm always open to suggestion. Trust me, I'm not just like it's my way or the highway. Uh, I will be putting turn signals on it right here. See these little things that stick out? That and that. I'm just going to put little turn signals there and then back here on the license plate bracket, as you can see right here, the same one on both sides, wire those in and those will just stay illuminated the whole time. Um, that way it looks more like a motorcycle. And then, yeah, I'll probably do the kill switch from the actual kill switch here and run it up to the handlebar kill switch and just use that instead. So the kid's reaching down to turn it off, but I can actually ride this one. And I took this out for a ride today. That's fun. That's really fun. Let me show you the brakes real quick. Just side note. Um, if you guys want to end the video right now because of just the mini bike, that's fine. But um, for the people that watch the go-kart video, let me show you what I did. Real, just real quick. I got a new master cylinder because the other one was shot. Filled it up. Ran it over here. Same exact problem. I have a bracket because the other one, the way I told you before, did not work. Ran it here. Welded here. Put this onto here. Put this bracket here. So every time I hit the brake pedal... It collapses the actual master solder. Puts pressure through the brake line into the back and collapses the caliper. Simple. It sounds simple, but it was a pain in the ass. But I got it. A lot of welding, a lot of jerry rigging, but you know what? It works. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to do another video here soon. I don't know what I'm going to do next because this one kind of fell in my lap and I really wanted to get this thing started and it kicks ass so uh let me know in the comments what you want to see me work on whether it be my son's quad over there um, or his little um 12 volt bike over there 
Um, so yeah, just let me know and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cossack Customs out.